Can shops refuse to give you a refund? A store can refuse to give you a refund. Where you the buyer are clearly in the wrong and your actions were specifically disallowed in their returns policy. Here are some of the situations where you may not normally be entitled to a refund. 1. Where a consumer has just changed his mind after buying an item. One of the drawbacks of impulse buying is that you may end up buying things that you don't really need. Unfortunately, this could mean that you could get stuck with items that you don't need as the seller can legally refuse to give you a refund. However, as I have said before, nowadays most retailers will still take back the items even though they don't have to. You just have to make sure that you do this within the time indicated on the receipt. Alternatively, you can check the supplier's returns policy on their website to see the options available to you. Two, where the consumer caused any damage himself. If you have caused damage to the item, then the store is within its rights if they refuse to refund you. In that case, you are stuck with the item as most suppliers won't take back damaged items. However, if the damage is not that obvious, you can easily get away with it. I remember a few years ago, my daughter threw my contract phone into a water filled bathtub and it stopped working. Fortunately for me, when I took it to the phone provider they just took it in without asking me what happened. I guess they probably thought they were better off with me having a phone as they would make money from my use of the phone. Whilst if I did not have a phone then they would be no basis to charge me for the use of the phone. 3. Where the consumer was told of any faults before the purchase by the store. If the seller told you of any faults before the purchase then you cannot go back to seek a refund because of the same faults. Therefore when it comes to buying damaged items, the expression, caveat emptor, buyer beware, should be the guiding light. Only buy damaged items that you can easily have repaired for a reasonable sum of money. Unfortunately, this is not easy for most of us who are not technicians. We might think that an item can easily be repaired only to discover that that is not the case you could end up throwing away an item that cost you a lot. 4. If the fault was obvious when you bought the item. There are certain faults that are pretty obvious when you are buying items. In these cases, the seller is entitled to refuse to give you a refund. This is especially the case when it is reasonably expected that any person would notice it during the examination process. You cannot, therefore, go back to the store to seek a refund. If you do go back the seller is within his rights to refuse to take it back. However, as we have already pointed out the seller can still refund your money especially if their returns policy allows it. And where their returns policy is silent you can still try your luck as some sellers have no questions asked returns policy. 5. You made a mistake and now want your money back. Another final case where a seller cannot be forced to give you a refund is where a consumer discovers that he bought an item by mistake. There could be several reasons for this ranging from size, color, etc. All these cases are not enough reasons for a seller to give you a refund. In this case, you may find yourself stuck with something you don't want. However, in most cases, sellers may be bound by their own returns policy. Therefore, if their policy allows refunds for this reason, then they are legally bound to honor it. Cases where they cannot refuse to refund you. There are a few situations where the store is bound to refund its customers no matter what. Here are some of those situations. 1. If the return is lined with their return policy. 1. If the return is lined with their return policy or refund policy. In a case where the shop's own returns or refunds policy specifically allows a customer to return goods, then they are contractually bound to follow it. Normally most shops allow consumers to return a sold item for any reason within 30 days of purchase. This does not in most cases apply where the consumer is in the wrong. For example, if you are the one who damaged the sold items then most shops will refuse to refund. If shops were to accept returns that are damaged they would struggle to sell them again. While you may not get a refund for most items such as electrical items, some sellers can repair it for free. This however depends on the warranty. 
A warranty is a written guarantee issued to the purchaser from the manufacturer promising to repair or replace within a specified period. 2. If the law in your country allows it. Even in cases where a company's return policy does not allow it, the store is still bound to abide by the sale of goods acts in your country. If that law allows it then the retailers are legally bound to refund you. In this case, a store must offer a full refund if an item is faulty, not as described, or does not do what it's supposed to etc. In most cases, most shops take into account the sale of goods act in your country and include it in their refunds policy. It is therefore important for you as a consumer to be conversant with the laws in your country. In this way, you cannot be taken for granted by greedy shops and not be able to get your money back. Unfortunately, most of us consumers are not aware of laws governing the sale of items in our areas and are therefore not able to claim our rights. One cannot claim rights that you are not aware of. In America laws governing the sale of items may differ from one state to another. You therefore should not make assumptions when you cross state lines. In most jurisdictions, online, mail, and phone order sales can be cancelled for a limited time even if the goods are not faulty. The law actually says that for online sales the consumer does not have to give a reason for the return.